Morning guys, and I uh, thought I'd just uh, have another chat with you. And uh, what I want to talk about is uh, a VAR. Now, I've done several pieces on Chelsea SW6 Facebook group, quite long pieces actually, and uh, several videos, not just on my own channel, but on other people's channels too. And I got a bit of criticism, I've got to tell you, because of my dislike for VAR. And as a supporter that's been going home and away uh, since 1981, been going to football since 1975, I feel that um, I, I'm not saying I've got the right to, 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 to have a, an opinion about something, but I just feel, to be fair, that um, this will be the death of football. And I really, really do mean that. And I, I guess it's like anything in life. It just seems that anything that's good... It has to be changed, or um, it, it, the, the enjoyment, and it always seems to be games that were, you know, always um, attended by the working classes. It, that's, that's how it seems to me. Football was always a working class game. That was its its roots, and uh, you, you've got to say now that a football crowd is definitely changed. I'm not saying that's not for the better. I'm not saying it isn't, and I'm not saying it is. I am a traditionalist. I like the old style football stadiums. I like the opportunity to be able to stand on the terraces. And you have to say that the atmosphere is inside our stadiums in England, in the UK, is just not comparable to what it is in Europe. I think the German model is the best, um, uh, you know, the, the, the best uh, example of how you can have the best of both worlds where you could you know you've got a you know a uh, a crowd that's um, full of all sorts of people but the game's affordable for the youngsters to be able to go through the turnstile and of course with the terracing and everything else you've got that sort of communal thing where people bunch together and they create their own atmosphere but i want to talk about var and um i just think that everything about it is just awful it's awful i think the game of football is spontaneous you know it's it moves at 100 miles an hour and what you're going to do is you're going to take away the magic the magic of what football is you know it's the people's game but it's magical for a lot of reasons because it happens instantly instantly you know a lot of people say that actually with regards to um the choreography abroad that it's not spontaneous it's the reason why back in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, albeit that there were some not so great elements in our in our football, attending football, um, the atmospheres were better because everything was done on a spontaneous level. It still is to a certain degree in England, just not done enough. But I, I think VAR is, is just killing the game. It really is because it's going to get to the point where you're not going to know whether to celebrate or not. It's almost like, hold on a minute, we better wait. We better wait to see if it is a goal, or you know. Be, and and now it's getting to the point where any slight issue um, is going to VAR, and as a result of that, you you just don't know whether to celebrate or not. And that's the beauty of it. The beauty of you know a goal goes in, you know, and and the atmosphere goes up, and and everyone celebrates together. It doesn't matter who who sat next to you. All of a sudden, like you're hugging and. You're going mental together because you both love, you have this passion for your football club. And if they take that away, which is where it's going, then you're going to take just such a massive, massive, magical part of the game away. And the difference between us in this country and what it seems to be in Europe is we have VR, whereas they have VAR, they have an assistant referee, um, where uh, there's a, a video uh, monitor um, you know, uh, at the side of the pitch where a referee can see for himself so he can overrule the uh, the um, the assistant's um, decision or the assistant's um, uh, acknowledgement that something's gone wrong so that the referee has to have another look at it again. Uh, in this country, basically, they're waiting for a, a third-party decision and it seems that he can overrule the referee, as indeed it happened at our game yesterday against Watford. I mean, that's a classic example where there was a game where we completely and utterly dominated. Uh, we were 2-0 up. The goalkeeper was absolutely made worldly after worldly save. We could have been four or five. 
you know, fair play. And then they get this contentious decision. It doesn't just give them a, a lift. It's almost like a double lift because the crowd are up because now they've got a penalty and now they're, they've got a chance to get themselves back in the game. But the, 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 the play stopped for such a long period of time where you're almost stopping the emphasis. It's a bit like... Um, it's a bit like, you know, when you go for a run and then you're getting yourself into a rhythm and then all of a sudden you stop, yeah? To get going again, it's 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 twice as hard, you know? And um, I just think you're giving the, the... It's too much, you know? And the decisions are so uh, minor, you know? I mean, the whole point of VAR is it's about goals, you know? And goals create the atmosphere, you know? That it's, that's the excitement of the of the game. And, uh, you know, to, to stop it for that length of time, just it, it, football, as I say, is a game where I see it works in cricket and I think it's brilliant in cricket. But cricket is a game where it, it there's there's natural pauses inside that game, whereas in football, there never what there never is a natural pause. In fact, you know, if anyone goes down for a length of time or if the goalkeeper's taking too much time, then, uh, you know, the crowd gets uh, really agitated because we're used to the game being fast moving, you know. I just don't like it, I really don't like it for lots and lots and lots of reasons. And I think as the season goes on, it's gonna become really controversial, especially with lots and lots of money at stake. You know, with, with the difference between going up or not, or getting relegated or not, or getting into those top four positions. And let's have it right here. You know, this is what it's all about anyway, money. But I honestly think that the thing with VAR is if, um, I mean, I understand, you know, that you want to get things right, uh, but to actually contend, you know, every single decision, I just think it's absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. That situation in the Aston Villa Liverpool game, you know, listen, I've got no love for Liverpool, but the guy was offside by what? A... a a slight, maybe, not even an arm, you know, sort of maybe a finger. And if we're going to get to that point, um, then what is the point of it? I, re I really, I really don't, I really don't get it. I mean, I, I, I've always been told that if it's not broke, don't fix it. And why would you want to ruin something that's worked perfectly well for hundreds and hundreds of years? And um, you know, uh, I just, I just don't like VAR. I just think it should go. Get rid of it. I think it's anti-football, and uh, and we're gonna, you know, sort of uh, just ruin uh, what is uh, for me the perfect sporting game. Uh, you know, I uh, just, as I say, for me, just get rid, just chop it now before it, you know, it goes too far. Maybe there should be maybe one or two appeals. You know, like during the court, you know, we only allowed that like in cricket. Look, I understand technology has got to play a part. Look. The ball going over the line, I get that. That works brilliantly in in, in tennis. Um, the tram lines, you know, if the ball's in the line or out the line, and I get that with regards to the goal line technology. We've always needed that. That you know, we've, there's been so many bad. So and we're still debating 1966, aren't we? And Jeff first, but I can think of many many situations. Frank Lampard for England against Germany it was like miles over. And that would have made the difference and got England back into the game. I get all that. Like, technology there, I'm not, you know, sort of saying no technology in the game. But I just think this is ridiculous, you know. You're taking away. It's a game played by human beings. And this is the point. If, if it's not right 100% all the time, yeah, like every decision is absolutely right, then it fails in what it's trying to achieve. So if that's the case, then it's no good. It's got to go. If it's not perfect all the time, then what's the point of it? Anyway, let me know what you think down below, guys, about VAR. As I say, for me, I want it gone. I, I absolutely hate it. I know there's going to be people down there saying, look, you know, it's here to stay, embrace it, and it's good because it's all. It's gonna. it's going to make that sure that all the decisions are right all the time. It's not because it's still dependent on another referee. As you can see, I've had to chop this video into two parts because someone decided to ring me in the middle of the last one. But uh, I don't like VAR. I've, listen, I've made no uh, 
a secret in effect that I think it's got to go. It's um, it just it, for me, it's just um, it's just control. It's just control, you know. Like everything seems to be all about fucking control these days, and now they're trying to control our football in the realms of making it absolutely perfect. And it's not perfect, you know. And that's the beauty of anything involving human beings. Uh, you know, uh, I think if you're going to embrace this, and how far is it going to go? How far is it going to go? Are we going to have AI involved in football in the future? Perhaps robot referees? So it's, you know, it seems like a bit of a laugh and a joke, but can you rule it out? Let us know what you think down below, guys. And for me, fuck the AR. Just get rid. <laughs>